Okay, Tizzy T here. Um, I'm going to show a tutorial on how to create a color full screen boot logo. Thanks to Global One, by the way, at ps3hacks.net. He helps uh, quite a bit on this to implement full screen logos. Alright, let's get to it. Um, I'm going to show the full version because I don't have Photoshop installed. So, uh, open up a command prompt. Uh, easy way is just to drag in the file or location of the file and just put in the, the argument um, slash uh, internal PS PS's for Photoshop uh, you can click OK or you can just leave it it'll close automatically when the main window comes up and don't need this anymore there uh, when you click uh, edit Photoshop will open or it will come up and ask you to browse to your Photoshop uh, um, directory where uh, you have Photoshop installed if you do not have the full version and if you did not use the internal uh, Photoshop per uh, argument alright let's get to uh, photoshopping uh, I am going to blank this out because oh shoot why did I click that? Let's make this bigger. All right. Um, for those of you who don't know how to uh, edit with an alpha channel, uh, alpha uh, anything that's black will not show. It's transparent. Uh, the white will indicate what in the uh, RGB uh, channels will be shown. So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, I have two renders uh, on, found on Google that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Uh, Goku, uh, I know that he will fit, but Broly does not fit. He's too big. <laughs> Typical. Broly, too big. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Goku, we're going to just uh, select him. Uh, we're going to copy him. We're going to go to the alpha channel first because it's easier to work with alpha first. Well, from what I find, it is easier to work with first. Um, let's put Goku right here. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to fill him completely white, meaning he will show. Oh, shoot. There we go. Wait. That means that area right here in uh, in the RGB will show. That area will show. Uh, in the RGB, we are also going to paste. This time, you actually see Goku. And the red represents what will be transparent. And as you can see, Goku is his normal colors. And that's how he's going to show on the finished uh, logo. Um, let's go back. Uh, after you finish one, you want to uh, merge it, you know, so you don't mess it up later. Now let's import Broly. Oops. Broly. Broly, as I said, is uh, too big. Freaking asshole. Look at those muscles. Anyways, uh, let's see. We're gonna shrink them down. I'm going to go to image. Now, this is his dimensions. Um, if width is higher than um, 1920, then you want to shrink that so it's a value that's under uh, 1920. And for height, if it's uh, over uh, 1080, then shrink it to some a value that's under 1080. And keep constraint proportions checked so you don't want to warp him in any way or any other picture that you're using so it doesn't warp in any way all right well, I'm gonna use 1080 which is the full height of the logo uh, because I just like Broly being big okay there he's uh, shrunk gonna copy him again we're gonna work in the alpha channel first and check these the eyes means that they are visible I mean uh, you can see them 
while in the workspace and we just want the alpha channel visible right now I'm gonna paste them use this to uh, move them where you want to and I'm gonna put it right here alright then I'm going to again same thing like last time completely white that means that space will be shown going back uh, keeping the selected portion selected go back to the RGB field I mean uh, channels and um, paste again there you go that's what the final logo is going to look like the black spaces will be see-through uh, what you got to do first before you actually go to save this logo is you want to merge there and you can check uh, all the channels to see to, to uh, check the red will be again transparent and the normal color stuff would be the what shows okay let's just close uh, these two right now don't save don't save okay the logo of course you want to save now you gotta choose um, you have to choose uh, DXC5 ARGB 8 BPP interpolated uh, alpha and check you have to select no MIPS maps if you don't select that the file ch file size of the logo will be different and you're going to have to start the whole thing over again alright click save there now you can preview your uh, creation your logo in the re different resolutions that will uh, up, uh, are available in uh, the PS3 we have uh, 480 by with the 4 by 3 ratio we have the 480 by uh, 16 by 9 ratio which does not crop at all and then we have the 720 I didn't do 1920 by 1080 which is 1080p or 1080i because uh, not everyone has a uh, screen large enough to uh, uh, occupy the, t the 1080 preview window so I just left it at 720 being the highest uh, viewable preview window okay that looks great so uh, well not too great but it's an example so we're gonna create it as you can see the file size matches so it actually uh, goes forward and processes the code boot this is your code boot if you go into it and you want to go back to copy the folder click redo alright and you just go into a flash drive and you copy it to the root of the flash drive and then you're all done alright thanks for watching and thanks again to uh, global one at ps3hacks.net thank you